guys. All right. We'll get started. I was uh, certainly disappointed for our fans here today uh, and for the team. Um, we certainly had our opportunities today, and the story of today's game was the ball. And uh, so for us to finish uh, minus three, you know how hard that is to win. Uh, we were able to do that last week and today uh, not having any. So uh, we don't look at it as an offensive stat or a defensive stat or a turnover margin. We see it as a team stat. And without creating any turnovers, you cannot be in the plus. So um, I thought it was uncharacteristic today that uh, some of the drops and missed tackles played us at times. But uh, the real story of the game uh, you know, was the, the turnover margin. And uh, that's something that we know we can get corrected. And uh, we certainly will. So with that, I'm glad to open it up uh, to your questions. Coach, uh, Matt Ryan's play today, what was your assessment of it? I'll go back through uh, and, and get a better assessment on that for tomorrow. I thought he did a good job of creating some. Uh, there were certainly some drops you know, that happened today. We missed on a couple of shots down the field uh, that we need to continue to take because some of those explosive plays that we will connect on uh, will be a big factor. Uh, but as usual, Matt puts us in the right spot, in the right area a number of times. Uh, to put it, give us some of the best looks. Thanks. Could you talk about the play call on that fourth and one, sure. the uh, play action fake pass? Right, yeah, we had uh, two plays called, uh, one for a certain look, one for another, and uh, so we thought heading in, uh, you know, give us a good opportunity on a third and one to go convert it and get right back on the ball uh, and get rolling again. So um, we'll give them credit to uh, have the play defended and uh, certainly just come with the best the So you you got the look that said throw the ball. Correct. That's, well, I'll have to go back and look at it, but that's what I assume uh, based on the outcome uh, on that mark. There's generally two plays to go to, um, but as we go back through it, I'll, I'll have an assessment for that for a moment. But you, in your mind, would you have had time to run the ball for a yard and then yes. spike it or something and Correct. then take three shots? Yep. Yep. That was going to be the plan if, if the other look had come about. So either way, we were uh, could stay in that personnel group. We just so happened that we had enough time there that you could have changed personnel group uh, to take three or four shots into the end zone. Uh, the first things first was getting the first down and then get back on the ball and then we would play again in, in hopes of uh, getting the touchdown. So uh, that was the game plan going in in that scenario. Get the first down, get back on the ball, and then give us some options to the end zone. Coach, how do you think Casey did? Can, can you speak up, please? How do you think Casey did around the spot? You know, um, Heading in, I felt he was very calm and cool. Uh, he didn't feel any of the rookie jitters, so to speak, in, uh, in his first opportunity. Uh, I thought he looked really level-headed and communicated well. Uh, you know, Tackling-wise, you know, he had a tough assignment at times on the back and did a good job with that. So uh, for his first performance out, you know, I was super pleased. Coach, you talk all the time about the ball. I do. And how important it is. How are you dissecting the turnovers and Matt, the interceptions? And well, I think, yeah, last week, two of them were on the tips, you know, so we would like to have the one back for sure. But um, I do know this. That's a part of our game that we can get corrected, and uh, I know that we will. Um, it is disappointing to have that happen two weeks in a row. Um, I don't have a reason behind why that. Uh, we didn't emphasize it more two weeks ago compared to this week. Um, it's always a part of, you know, our